Grant Finley Shearis, and today we are on the bench with Mary Howells from CD Graphics and Underpant Communications, right? Did I get those two business names correct? Perfect. I got them. And she is heading up business development and client relations. She is the one who brings in the clients, brings in the money, makes them happy. All right, so I'm excited to get to know you today and have people kind of get to know the two companies, which is actually leads me to the first question. So what is the difference between CD graphics and underpant communications? Okay, CD graphics primarily deals with a, a lot of printing uh, within you know Toronto area and underpant communication is more of our design elements where we incorporate doing apps and web development and a lot of uh, kind of unique design which you can see behind us. Mm -hmm. So that's the difference. So we do a lot of business cards through CD graphics, a lot of uh, pull-up posters and banners like that. but. Uh, Underpaint is really the design and the brainchild of, uh, you know, the company. Okay. Okay. Well, so yeah, so, so we'll show more of the room later. All right. And then we'll actually even take a look at what they do live, which is we have another room to get printed out to make look good for our company. And so we're going to go through that whole process and, and talking that over and you're going to get to see the work like this bench, this grass, we got a print of Toronto over there. These are the works of CD Graphics Underpants. So, okay. Um, so, you know, when you when you think about like the company's you know superpower, like what they're really good at compared to other companies that were similar, mm -hmm. right? What would you have to say? I'd say we're really good at branding. We're great at identifying the needs of uh, the customer, paying attention to what is the focal point for the client and applying that and coming out with some like super great designs okay like on branding level or other aspects whether it be annual general uh, meeting material brochures we come out with some really super creative and interesting things but we cater it to the client and their specifications we pay attention we listen and we apply it to their needs okay because that's one of the things that, that sometimes people have questions about branding they go I have a vision mm -hmm. and I'm looking to hire someone to help me with it, but they're the creative, right. so I don't want to necessarily stunt their creativity because they may know something I don't know. So what's the whole process? Like, How do you do branding? So we sit down with a client and we determine what their needs are. Recently we had a client, we had to determine their needs. We really look at their needs. We look at how long the project's going to last, what their budget is, and really what they want. And then we take it from there and then we, we look at mock-ups and everything else and we tailor it to them, to what they want, work directly with them, whether it be channeling it through focus groups or other sorts of things to get the communication across to exactly what they want. Mm -hmm. Because branding is a whole identity of a company. It's a relaunch. It's a refresh and there's very important key elements that are involved with working with the client on that. So we also want to educate them, but steer them in the right direction of some of the things that we might know on a branding level that they won't. So we educate them, right. but bring to the table deliverables of timelines and execution, but working with them directly. And focus groups is one part of the branding package. Okay. Industry is Help. changing, you know. Um, we know that online absorbs a lot of businesses and the industry has changed. I mean, look at print industry uh, from going back 10, 15 years ago, walking into a regular print shop to where you can go online now and you, you can have these things done immediately quickly. The unfortunate thing is people don't realize when you're using the online tools, it's not actual artwork you're getting. You're getting fast turnover product that really has no quality behind it. And that is a challenge to us, but how we compensate for that is by meeting with the clients and showing them the work that we've done and the quality behind it. You're not just buying quality, but you're buying longevity and having a long-standing relationship with us that you trust us that will just go from one piece of work to the next piece of work to the next piece of work because we stand behind our quality and not something you can quickly print online that's throw away and then in six months you're like, what is this? There's, le like, there's less of these smaller projects because that stuff is either obsolete it's digital now or you're just going to go use some discount printer for this basic thing mm -hmm. and so the projects are now just much bigger right like, like there's no there's no there's no scale of where print and physical marketing mm -hmm. and branding is done it's like hey if you're going to do it you might as well Go big. Go big. Go big or go home theory. Yeah. No, we still do a lot of small print projects because people want to keep things personalized, right? Whether they're having a first communion for their child, 
a wedding or something and they want to keep it authentic to themselves and they want someone to create effective designs and as opposed to just going online and picking something that's generic they'll come to us to put something original together because then that's a keepsake for them whether they're a parent whether they're getting married whatever it may be it's something that is a keepsake I kind of want to wrap up, right? Like this is the whole point of these on the bench interviews is one, I want you guys to get to know CD graphics and underpan communications. We're going to do much more visuals around the stuff they did for us. They did an amazing job. They're going to do an amazing job in my second office to make, this is the park. We're going to have something called the community. And it's going to be a very Liberty Village themed, real estate themed in the other room. So I'm excited about that. Um, so I want you guys definitely to check out their services if you want something like this or if you want branding yeah. help or branding. if you want really high quality design and print. Um, two, if you want a salesperson that's easy to get along with, easy to talk mm -hmm. to, you got to check out Mary. What are your, any advice like for, for business development, people trying to grow a business, like what kind of tips do you want to leave with entrepreneurs and with people in doing business development for, you know, a business? Never think of it as what's in it for you. It's what's in it for your customer. That's the best way to look at it. What's in it for your customer, not for you. And customer service is key because when you give the what's in it for the customer, they're going to come back to you because they're relying off your faith and your credibility and you've sold that to them. So we want to just not have like a quick in and out the door. We want a longevity with our clients and understanding our clients and building projects together, which yep. going to the next phase with you, which yeah. is fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, well, thanks hey, so much. Hey, appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah, awesome. thanks for that. Was tons of fun.